Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm one of the Academic Foundation Doctors at the University Hospitals of Leicester NHS Trust. Okay, and uh, what did you do in your study? We performed a meta-analysis of the artificial urinary sphincter in men who've had a radical prostatectomy and had then gone on to have an artificial urinary sphincter implanted due to post-prostatectomy incontinence. We extracted 16 studies from the published literature and analysed over 1,800 patient outcomes regarding the sphincter. We looked at device failure, reimplantation, infection, erosion and urethral atrophy rates. We did find heterogeneity between our studies cohorts. The heterogeneity we measured was 82% for the failure of the device. Uh, this reflects varied surgical practices between each institution and also varied patient characteristics. We did find publication bias, especially in favour of uh, good outcomes of the artificial urinary sphincter. Because we found publication bias, the true effect of radiotherapy may have been underestimated in our analysis. We weren't able to perform any subgroup analyses based on patient characteristics other than device failure and persistent urinary incontinence. I think this reflects that in the published literature there's not enough studies including validated patient reported outcome measures and standardised scales to measure patient outcomes. Our study is limited somewhat by the fact we only included cohort studies into the meta-analysis and we weren't able to use any randomised controlled trials. Using a cohort study exposes our meta-analysis to a risk of confounding and bias and therefore, just because an association is made, it doesn't actually equate to causality. However, uh, the results are strongly suggestive that radiotherapy does pose an extra risk to patients who have a urinary sphincter. Through our study, by doing a meta-analysis of cohort trials, we provide level 2A evidence according to the Oxford Centre for Evidence-Based Medicine. And our data is useful in the planning of future post-prostatectomy urinary incontinence uh, trials and also for the purposes of audit and patient counselling.